Hi guys and welcome to a new game that I'm going to be playing called Twin Mirror. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this game is about. I know it's about a journalist coming back to town for God knows what reason. But we're going to find out along the way so let's just jump in. The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a good. brisk West Virginia evening ahead looks of us. Good. Wrap up time Don't think I said that properly. That's with jungle journalist found dead in roadside accident. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wilson. We'll Signal around here sounds awful. Yeah, check a CD in. Bit of ACDC or something. Basswood. Two miles. Home for sale. It looks very. very left. <laughs> it's got a railroad crossing. Been there two seconds, mate. Calm down, Jesus. Hey, you're gonna be at the wake, right? Bug. What a name. Oh, just throw your phone there. Very disrespectful. Little stink drop. Jesus. It's a bit of a long intro, you know. Doesn't look happy to be back, so I'm guessing there's a bad reason. Lookout point. We're going to be overlooking Asswood. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. Why, why is there might as well spend it here? No littering. This oh. place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Oh, you're so depressing. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. Asswood. The company made sure we knew how generous they were. Okay. I didn't read it, so I don't know how generous they were. No littering. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. Inspect. The view of Basswood. Founded in 1865, the small mining town quickly grew along with the coal industry. At its peak, Asswood produced more coal than any other town in West Virginia, with the Basswood mine being one of the most consistent coal mines in the US. Basswood is also a wonderful place to simply let nature be nature outside whatever that word says trail, with its hundreds of miles of hiking trails, a perfect example of the true West Virginia way of life. Asswood is both a reminder of its past and a glimpse into its bright future. Oh, it says right there, Basswood is also a sucks. The cemetery over there. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. Not friendly, I guess. The Basswood River. I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing with Nick. Oh, an old time friend that you didn't treat well, I'm guessing. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. In the basswood mine. Strange to think of basswood without its mine. Why? I guess that's it. Oh, we can go up here. The full hazard. Because a sign protects better than sturdy rails. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. You'd be surprised. The world is full of idiots. Absolute idiots. Emergency phone directly connected to the emergency line. I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. Wow. 
wildlife sign. Can we inspect that? Can, can we inspect? Thank you. Hiking trails. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Oh, such a depressing bloke, honestly. What's this? Hunting rules. When hunting, carry with you any and all required permits and licenses. Do not hunt while under the influence of alcohol. And hunting is forbidden between half an hour after sunset and half an hour before sunrise. Oh, we can look at it as well. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. Don't do it then. West Virginia's scenic mountain forests are home to deer, flying squirrels, red foxes, field mice, rabbits, and cave bats, among other animals. Bobcats, wild boars, and even black bears have been seen all over the state. Even very remote farmsteads have occasionally sighted the eastern cougar, Puma concola, on the prowl. Some of these species are endangered. She wrote an article about it. Who? Bug? Buggy buggy. Trail closed three years ago due to a landslide. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. Mm, sounds about right. Food locker keeps hikers and hunters safe from bears. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. Okay. Let's go up here. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. Help gave me perspective. Until that day. Until that day that you don't mention or tell us why. Spyglass. Oh, we can have a look through. Ooh, we've got some weird effects around the screen. Oh, what's this? Oh, we've changed shirts. And we're in some sort of weird. Whatever this is. I'm guessing this is all in his head. Why can't the real Hope world so. be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? You're a very depressing person. I don't think he's clear and peaceful at all. Optimal shot angles. That's would rail something. Mind closure. Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. I'm guessing this is going to be a mechanic in the game and it's just giving us a heads up. This does look pretty cool, I can't lie. Can we run? Oh. Memory, remember. I, uh. I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet okay. I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. Well, that's because you didn't pick up the phone, you silly goose! Memory, remember. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others. Even in me. Okay. So the next one we're gonna remember. What's this? The story is important. You know I think that. It's just It's just what? People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. I'm guessing that's to Sam. us. Are you even listening to me? Probably not. I heard you, Anna. But no. I wasn't listening. See, I'm a genius. I can tell the future. Oh, we've got memory. Another one. What surprise? Let's remember this one. Come on, Anna. Look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Is this our go? Oh, Anna, I'm gonna propose. You really need to see this. I can't even see you. Something's blocking it. Oh, less jokes. Sam. Didn't even get down on one knee. What are you doing? Half assed it. I'm trying to be romantic. Ah, oh, there we go. About five minutes too late, mate. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. <laughs> what else should he be doing? I'm 
down on one knee, a ring. Oh. What else would I be doing? <laughs> I'm gonna guess that was a solid no. You look like I just ran over your grandma. You probably did. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Hey, he already on. has. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. She's done we'll get married. Uh, and we just made ourselves like a right mug. And we're back to reality. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Yes. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? Uh, oh, I thought you'd have to find it in your car because you threw it in the back seat. You're really not going to show sad face. I'm not going to text that back. To be fair, I can't talk. I am very bad at replying to people. I decided to take a walk on the prominent story before the next funeral i thought i wasn't ready to face basswood again but the past is already pulling me back in my memories are so vivid it's as if i've never left take a walk on the promontory remember that night at the spyglass and return to the car you've wasted enough time ah we've got some new people like anna the one that got away would my whole life be different had she said yes seeing her again that's going to be so hard yet part of me is looking forward to it the rest of me wants to turn around and leave now <laughs> do it that'd be jokes Nick's been my friend since we were kids. My only friend, I ghosted him two years ago when I left Basswood, and now he's ghosting me by being dead. I'm glad you made that comment, not me. I left Basswood two years ago to run away from a job at a small-time newspaper, a town full of angry people in a failed relationship. I didn't glance back. Now I'm going home to attend my best friend's funeral. What could be more fun than facing all your past mistakes at your friend's gravesite, right? Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It just sounds so much fun. I missed the funeral. Yeah, Maybe it's for the best. Us. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. I love bringing up the fact he's dead. It's just weird. Oh, another text. Walter, are you still coming? Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick Wait, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. It's just like a and you might be right. Bipolar. But it's been two years. It's just another version of us. Bipolar. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. To be fair, I don't like to adult, news, though, so. At least you don't have to do it alone. You don't have to do it alone, because I'm here in your head. To win mirror. And it doesn't really count as a twin if it's inside our head, surely. Oh, and another text. And another one. I really hope you can make the wake. It'll be at the Haven. <laughs> Let's get depressing, because that seems to be all our character wants to do. Nick isn't going to care how late I am. Lost the signal. Some things never change. You've already said that the service is bad up here, so what's the point? Why are you still typing if you've already sent the message? Oh, and another lookout over at Asswood! Haven parking lot. I'm guessing this is where Nick's wake is. Otherwise, why would we be here? We got darts. Let's play some darts. Back your car, boy. Oh, that's Bug, Nick's daughter. Can't imagine what she's going through. 
Oh, Bugs next door. Oh. Glad we know that now. She's tiny. You actually came. Muley. It's been a while. You gotten taller. It's almost worse, Bug or Muley. Can we talk? I don't know. Can we? We're talking right now. It's cold. This is a riveting conversation. Oh, we're just getting back in the car, are we? We just got out of this. So. You left. Oh, she's been straight up. She's calling John, you out, oh, boy. You left. Not you right, you left. Uh, just apologize. Look, John, I messed up. You said you wouldn't leave. You said... You said... I don't remember exactly, but you pinky swore. I didn't mean to lie. I just screwed up. After Anna broke up with me, I'm... I'm sorry. I wish words meant anything. Nah, they don't. I wish this didn't make it harder for you to trust me now. You could have at least called something. She got born. Especially after... You know... After my dad. Oh, know after you, you know, died. You're right. <laughs> I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. Ah, oh, Jeff Bats over there. Uh -huh. Funny. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Hmm, at least he's honest. Thanks for being honest. Oh, there we go. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Good. Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's Ooh, wrong. It's a cover up. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muli? Please. If we say no, is that she just the game She wants her father's over? death to mean something. But where does that lead? No, it's not. What if it's it just leads to the truth? Amazing. That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? Yeah, jokes. Part A of the game, innit? questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And oh, she's just like frozen. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. That's the fun okay, of it. Whatever you do, at least lead the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Ooh, even friends. if it means disappointing her again. It's your call. Keep her out of it. I promise to look into it. It's part of the game, so let's just look into it. Okay. I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. I get Thanks, it. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there too. Can't hide in your car all night. What a bit. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. I'm guessing this is just gonna be awkward as fuck. Can we go in there now? Instead of all these long dramatic pauses. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the game looks good. Back man. Ah, oh, we're taking pills. It's a pill popper. Pop, pop, pop.
Let's head inside. Oh, journal's been updated. So everyone knows Nick and I were best friends. Everyone thinks I owe it to him to be here. His daughter Joan goes even further. She thinks I should stay here and investigate her father's death. Our old boss, Walter, is sure to have something to say too. I won't be able to sneak past him. Go inside the bar. So we've got another thing on us. The same town, the same doubts and contradictions. Face it or escape it. This time I made a different decision. The temptation to embark on another doomed investigation leading to nothing but pain was too strong to resist. Am I doing this for Joan, for Nick, or for myself? Definitely for ourselves. Joan. Of all people I hurt when I left Asswood. Joan is the one who least deserved it. She was just a kid and my goddaughter, but it's a tough job to be a lonely kid's only friend. I couldn't hack it. Now that her dad died, things aren't going to be getting any easy for her. Angry, hurt, stubborn, hard to believe Joan was the one who nicknamed me Muley. Not that I'm looking for an excuse. I made a promise to a child that will break her heart whether I keep it or not. What if she's right about her father's death? What will that do to her? And what if I can't give her the answer she's hoping for? Well, we'll just skip down again then, won't we? Oh, ow. Oh, I only read that. Sorry. Let's, uh... Might as well talk to Walter. Oh, finally, we'll we can walk a bit later. faster. Everything has yeah. to be a reference to the mob. Same old town, same old bar. The more things change... The more they stay the same. Yes. Oh, it's Walter. The cat food is under the sink. Yes, Our old yes boss. it is, Former mother. boss, friendly Trust as ever. Me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel. Samuel Higgs. Two long years since we last saw each other. Two years. You're very late, you know. You completely missed the funeral. <laughs> I'm here for next week, at least. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. Yeah, let's give him a so hug. Good to see you. He seems Even nice. if I wish the circumstances were different. In times like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At least I do. Yeah, he seems nice. Just give him a little. Give him a little snuggle. Give him a little cuddle. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, no way. Um, no reason. She's married. If you get the chance, we should catch Probably. up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. She didn't want to get married to us, so she's married another bloke. Eesh. Bar's front door. Just open. I'm not going to look at it. Oh, oh yeah, we can. We can have a look. Whoa, oh, press the wrong button. Walter, my old boss at the paper. I'd say he taught me everything I know, but given my track record, that wouldn't be much of a compliment. I always thought Walter was the decent sort, the rare breed who truly believes his job to serve the community. Seeing the old joker was nicer than I expected. Oh, we've got stats. I promised Joan I'd ask some questions about her father's death. 83%. Reunion with Walter, I was happy to share a hug with Walter. Only 11%. Oh. Coal Miner's Haven. Doesn't look very busy. I know it's awake, but... Still doesn't look very busy. Mr. Samuel Higgs. Samuel Higgs. Peace out, investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in hell. <laughs> I'd gladly slash your tires, but that means you couldn't leave town. Ah, screw it. Leave. Just really embracing those hick stereotypes, huh, Joel? Yeah. You a hick, boy? Gentlemen. Yeah, stand on ground. Good old boys, another round. Mighty kind of you, Declan. Declan. You're not worth it, Higgs. Okay. You probably got a point there, to be fair. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. Uh, just here for Nick. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. Okay, boss man. West Virginia and all that. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Uh, Nick's wake barely made it inside the bar, but things have already taken a strange turn. Joan is obsessed with the idea that her father's death wasn't an accident. She wants me to investigate. 
I can't get it out of my head. It's as if a long dormant part of me had been awakened. I tend to wake and pay homage to Nick. It's just Declan. Declan's the local law enforcement. I vaguely remember him from school. He used to get into fights a lot, usually to protect smaller kids. No one was surprised he became a cop. Joel. All the miners in Basswood lost their jobs when the mines closed. I should have known they still think it's my fault. Nothing to do with awful working conditions and inhumane management, obviously. Uh, so, only 39% of people did that. We talked to... You always did know how to start a ruckus. Can't say I missed that. Declan lacks subtlety, but he loves this town like no one else. Fair enough, Dan. We talked to them. Hey, Sam, why don't you drink a nick on the other side of the bar? On the other side. Old-timers in general already don't like me, and the article just made it worse. Okay, I'm guessing we put out an article that closed down the mines, I'm guessing. The booth hasn't been replaced in decades. That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks after work. Yeah, talk to anyone else? Seems Ethan's been trying to I branch out. You read Dickens, Ethan? Walter can be overwhelming at times, uh, but he means well. Really. You just quoted him a couple of times. Can we can. So we can. I had to throw them all out on their ear, and only then did I realize. Ah, Samuel, my favorite ex muffracker. Join us. Join us. How was the funeral? I wasn't there. Setting up for this. Oh, so he missed it as well. Most of the town, it felt like. A sea of sad, wet eyes. I gave the eulogy. Felt hollow. So hollow. He worked for me for years. For years. My best reporter. What do you even say about him? Uh, methodical. That's what you sound like. Everything had to be just so. His desk, straight lines and clean. Once, Anna turned everything on his desk around just to see what he'd do. He moved his chair to the other side of the desk. It's the small things. Like, he always kept his window down. Said cars made him claustrophobic. That's how he stays with us. The little details. The little things. I remember the bar bets about that safe spot at Pac-Man. He, he got me one night. Yeah, got me once, too. Can't believe it's real. Enough about Nicholas, enough. Tell me, how have you been, Sam? How have you really been? Be honest, he seems like a really nice guy. Let's just be honest. I spend all day doing nothing. I don't even count days. They just blur together. Oh, so depressing. Nick's death barely hit me. It was like a pinprick compared to just everything. Time heals most wounds. Some it just makes worse. Sounds like you need something to pull you out of your rut. Well, I think I've taken enough of your gents' time. Go, mingle, circulate. But you must join us for an actual round later. You must. You simply must. Let's pry. Oh, Walter, can I ask you something? Questions are the fountainhead of knowledge. Nick's crash. Was there anything suspicious about it? I asked myself the same thing. The very same thing. It did seem odd. Mm. Young Nicholas, a careful man in all things, including driving. I looked into it myself. You know what I found? Nothing. What? A tragic accident with nothing amiss. I am both relieved and saddened to say. Ah. Life is rarely like a crime thriller, and while I don't mind you asking, some might find it a distasteful conversation at a man's memorial, especially from you. I'll, uh, well, I'm gonna piss way. people off because it's fun. Do. See that you do. Right. Uh, can we look at Ethan? He's owned this bar for almost a decade and still can't afford another employee. Well, he needs to get good. Here we can talk to. Oh, there's Joan. Oh. Sammy. Oh, it's been ages. Who is this? Tara. Tara. Me? Or I've Tara. had a stomach thing lately. Always oh, churning. Uh, and weird. this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. So that's okay to say a man's for you uh, memorial. Did you go to just after you left? Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. Uh, what did you think of it? Oh, uh, you read it. What do you think? Of the writing? Fine. Fine. 
of the reporting. <laughs> Something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. No cowpo. Nice Cowpo's the best. Uh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. No, I'm just gonna dip out of the earliest opportunity I get. Uh, so we met a few new people. Ethan, a small town bartender who listens more than he talks. Ethan's bar must be the most, the only prosperous business in Basswood. Walter, with Walter, what you see is what you get. His grief for Nick is sincere. Tara, Tara, however, the office administrator of Basswood Jungle is the proverbial weird co-worker. She likes everyone and everything: dinosaurs, romance novels, evangelical TV, conspiracy theories, rice cookies, unusual street names. You name it, she talk about it for hours. Hugh, he's new in town, but it seems like he knows how to fit in. Then again, as the town pharmacist, fitting in is part of his job. Still, it's decent of him to have come to Nick's wake. Can we, can we go talk to Jonah? Oh, can we actually talk to Declan now? So Sam, oh, we can. How's life been treating you? Uh, could be better. Nick's dead. Could be better. My best friend just died. No need to snap at me, Sam. I ain't the enemy here. I didn't think I was snapping. Your allies are in short supply, so be careful what you say. You staying in town long? Not really. Why? You think I'm gonna disturb the peace or something? Huh. Wouldn't be your first time. Have a nice evening, Sam. Okay. Declan lacks oh, subtlety, God. but he loves this town like no one That's else. That's what like, no, clearly not. What about Joe? You'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. Can we, can we talk to her? She's on her phone. Typical kid. She puts it down. Wow. Everyone here seemed to really like my dad. Of course they did, Bug. Everyone's nice in that creepy way. It's weird. Even Anna's weird. Your dad was a good guy. People don't really know what to say, but they genuinely liked your dad. So even if they're weird and clumsy, it comes from a good place. <laughs> now you sound all weird and clumsy. That's my don't forte. Always... Do you ever just watch people? All the time. <laughs> it's pretty much all I do. Me too. But I don't always like what I see. Another weird thing to say. I'm just gonna go back to your phone. Cool, I guess that's the end of the conversation. Cassie. Uh, who's over here? But no more than three thousand milligrams a day. That's Hugh. And Bess always had a soft spot for Nick. I think she liked his work ethic. Okay. Uh, and there's Kathy. There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce. But anyone can see she's taking his death hard. Eesh. Let's talk to her. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. Damn straight I did. I'm as surprised as you are. Yeah, well, here I am. I'm just as surprised as you. How have you been? Life in Basswood has been hard these last years. You'd know if you'd stayed. Oh, someone's Joan better. was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. It's so weird for a kid to have a friend that's a Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Joan thinks Nick was murdered. Your daughter thinks Nick's crash doesn't make sense. She's a little girl who lost her father. She's confused right now. Yeah, but people think the same thing. Don't you go encouraging her, or worse, putting those thoughts in her head. Too late. I frankly thought you knew better. Honestly, I don't. Do you think she has a point? I think you should stay away from her. Oh, someone is touchy. Jesus. Grow up. Let's put a picture up. What picture are you putting up? Hmm. 
mind palace. Is that what we're calling it? Is this going to be the memory of the photo? Good old Pac-Man. Remember. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. You find every last bite. The mine closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You probably saved some lives, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of language. Oh, naughty boy. Ah. Is that a wedding ring? Jeez. I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. Oh, it's just... It feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? Well, it's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here, you can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? That's kind of the point. I'll talk to her about it when Actually, I show her the ring. before the failed proposal. You say so. Hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything. Anything but my arcade secrets. Those I'll take to the grave. And he did. An early grave, but still the grave. Slap that bad boy up there. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rust up, big guy. That's for jungle team. I wonder who took that picture. It's a weird thing to wonder. Nick, Joan, and Sam. Look at us. Okay. <laughs> Nick and Joan. He was more her best friend than a dad. Uh, Nick and Walter? Those two were a great team. Nick and Kathy? Bug was so small back then. Nick and Sam? Uh, Nick and Anna? Happier times. He's got such a monotone voice, it's doing my nothing. And Nick. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. I think that's it. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. Breaking bad. <laughs> uh, I won my bet. Well, Dennis, I won the bet I had with myself that you'd be an asshole right off the bat. What? That was a safe bet. <laughs> This is honest. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. Again, he's honest. And I thought he was a hack, <laughs> which he was. Oof. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. Oh. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Oh, he got a gun. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Don't pretend you care. Yeah, like you'd care. Uh, not too much. But shoot yourself if you want to be like that. See why you're being. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Yeah, fair. Speaking of which... Speaking of which, what? Oh, is this? Is this Anna? Is this the forever mentioned Anna? Is she gonna sing? I have to give it to her. The animation looks pretty sick. Please don't tell me this is going to be a whole song.
tears, but I suffer. Little Jones all upset. She's upset. Does she marry Nick? <laughs> I doubt it. And she's all crying. I don't think we should be the ones to go consult her. <laughs> Journal updated. Pretend the wake talks to Anna. So. Dennis, the IT guy at the paper I used to work for. I remember him as a bitter and mean-spirited guy. A loner with not many friends in Basswood. So am I, but it does mean we're kindred spirits. And Kathy. Kathy and Nick married young and divorced quick. I'm not sure she's ever really liked me, though I was their daughter's godfather. Or maybe that just made things worse. Kathy's never forgiven me for disappearing from Joan's life. It was a bit of a dick move, can't lie. Let's talk to it. Let's, let's talk to it. Oh, no. Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. Well, let's uh, talk to her. Anna? Sam! Oh! I think that was. Here, I'll go back. was not expecting that. I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? Uh, it hurts to come back. I won't lie, it really hurt coming back. I stopped by Lookout Point on the way here. Sam, why'd you do that to yourself? Jokes, innit? Desire to open old wounds. The old timers gave me hell when I came in too. People around here have short tempers. And long oh, memories. But most of them mean well. To the no news gonna Sam, say the mine that. was gonna close anyways. Maybe any year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. Tell that to everyone else. I wish everyone else understood that. People are scared. Mad. You were easy to blame. When my father lost his legs. Nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started shortly. asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's... Joe. He's an oak. Unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven. As he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together. They did so get together. Serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. You and Nick were together? But you and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He... He never told you? To be fair, we didn't talk He to asked him. me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. Indeed it does. But this... Th this was all nice. The funeral, the wake... Walter did a good job. <laughs> But it all just makes me feel heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. Uh, was Nick murdered? Nick's death. Do you know if you had any enemies working on anything dangerous? Whew. Now this is a real can of worms. This is a wake. <laughs> I know that. Do you? This isn't the time to be digging and pushing. Oh, it is. You always do this. Oh, now we're going to get a bar, though. 
I get it. I just... You... You're still you, huh? You'll always still be you, Sam. I hope you never kind change, of the point. but I can't handle this right now. I'm gonna go home. I hate that his stuff is all over my house. Then drink and cry all night. You do what you need to do. See you around. Samuel, come. Have a round with me. I need a drink or two. Or three. And then I'll go. And then let's go over. A drink with water. Journal updated. Drown your sorrows with water. Um... Asking Anna about Nick's death was insensitive. Of course, I only realized that after the words come out of my mouth, still, I was going to have to ask eventually. True. Uh, Anna, uh, uh, Anna and Nick talk about cliches. The moment I left Bass with my best friend and my ex get together. Maybe I could have handled that better. Asking probing questions about Nick's death didn't go down well either. One conversation I've already disappointed Anna again. Let's, uh. Walter can be overwhelming at times, but he means well. Just grab a drink. Who can we talk to? I did see that we could talk to old Dennis. People leave you or they die. That's the only way anything ends. Oh, lovely. Q and Cafe. Can we talk to Star? So tragic what happened to Nick. The details are horrible. They think he didn't die on impact. Instead, he roasted. But it's okay for her to say stuff like this. Not enough to damage the bones, but you know, not a pretty sight. Unless you're into that kind of thing, of course. I didn't mean to be rude, Sam. Uh, it's all right. It's all right, Tara. I don't like the sight of dead, burned people. Oh, thank God. I wouldn't want to be rude on a day like this. We're talking about how we died. Oh, poor Sam. Now that Nick is gone, everyone in town hates you. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Why would I? It's not my job you destroyed. Jesus. You're not the cause of all my problems. I mean, that's what you did for pretty much all of Basswood, but not to me. So, I don't hate you. Thanks for the confidence booster, Tara. I'll see you around. Oh, a lovely woman. Now can we grab a drink of water? No. Can we talk with someone else? I don't know what else we can do then. Oh, we Mr. These guys. Good to see you. My condolences for your friend. Coming back in town must not have been easy. Officer Stevenson was telling me about your little welcoming committee. It's all right. Declan saved the day. We just don't want any troubles here. Not from you. Not from anyone. Not from anyone. Don't worry, I won't stay in town long enough for that. Uh, about Nick's death. One quick thing. Nick's death. Are you sure it was an accident? Are we sure? What are you trying to say? I mean, good now, word Sam, these so much I know better. you're a bird dog at heart, and a bird dog hunts. But listen, Nick's death was an accident. Don't go riling people up. Don't you think you've done that enough to the nice folks around here? Mm. I guess so. Enjoy your evening. I want to wind people up more. You know Sam, he likes to run. Now can I go Chase get a drink? Dis distribution of marks just strong intoxication for the average player. Restroom, warning for drunk customers, doubt they read it. I look at Basswood, the bar you forgot to you remember. It's easy to forget the places that make our hometown feel familiar. The coal miners' haven is one such place. The owner, Ethan Morrow, has made sure to stay true to the establishment's name by littering the walls with all the brave workers Basswood has seen over the years. Ethan might not have reached the skies yet, but he remains optimistic. Things aren't easy, but thankfully people still think they can beat me at darts. Give it a chance when you walk by. The price of the fare is a beer cold. And Ethan remembers the name of every customer. Nick, can, I, I want to look at Nick's article. 
Shamrock is changing hands. Uh, long time bartender Ethan Warrior will be taken over the coal miners haven from current owner Carl Edwards. The coal miners haven has been one of Basswood's only bars since Prohibition when it started as a speakeasy. Ethan had to say this about the change. Nothing's going to change much. The place feels like home for a lot of folks here. I don't want to change that. He plans to keep Edwards' collection of decorations and hopes to add to it as the years go on. Good on ya. I don't know what what else we can do? Can't talk to you, sir. Can't look like it. Oh, right there. Mm -hmm. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel, join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Oh, how nice. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Well, oh, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there. With a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess. Maybe Anna. Well, by himself with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. Ooh. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. <laughs> Kept his notes squirreled around him like a hoard. Uh, he was a good dad, mostly. He was always good with Joan. Though Kathy did the heavy Why lifting. Why you at that part? Took her to school, fed her, clothed her, and Nick would pick her up. Play dad for a few hours. Mostly she'd just sit in the office drawing. He'd drop her back off with her mom after dinner. Greater men have done far less by their daughters. True. The friend of man... The friend of truth, the friend of age, and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed, few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. He's kind of a nice one. That from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Oh, it's a good choice. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. Uh, people sure liked him. Everyone liked him. I think even Dennis liked him somewhat. He always had a lot of friends. A few who couldn't make it sent flowers. We didn't even do that. There's a family taking it. <sighs> Joan and Kathy seem shaken. Kathy has a lot to deal with. Now more than ever. And who could prepare for losing a parent? Not a soul. Not a single soul. He always showed up. It always seemed so easy for him. Every day he'd show up, smile, no matter what. Of the qualities in a good man, that one deserves to be at the top. True. Not a quality I possess. Yeah, and also this true. This isn't a place for self-pity. This is a place for dour reflection. Yes, and drinking. Toast. To Nick, he was my friend. You will be missed, but not forgotten. Here, here. Nice little toast. Put that down. Kathy, what's your underage child doing drinking? You have no control over her? They think the loser's lost. I wasn't lost. doing anything. Don't touch me. Oh, Joan. Very aggressive. Leave me alone. Oh, you guys are all so, so... Stupid! You How do not talk dare to you? that way. I am not stupid. I am just an imbecile. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so... So... Stupid. <laughs> that was quite heavy-handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. Uh, Declan was harsh. Declan sure came at her with both barrels. Joan's tough, though. She seems at least. She'll be okay. Oh, we're gonna sit here drinking for hours and hours. Oh! 
even water goes and we're still drinking. Ethan's walked up, we're drinking by ourselves, drink drowning our sorrows. Oh, and another. And another. Oh, we really are drowning our sorrows. There's a lot of beer. Fair play. Put them away like that. What a night. I'd say that went well. Ish. Could have gone a lot worse. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. <laughs> Even if Joan got inside your head with her whole dad mystery death thing. Just shut up. That wasn't very nice. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? <laughs> At least he knows. I am so sorry. I am so very sorry. You stuck in existence, stuck in my head, just a terrible state you're in. Get your anger and sarcasm out of your system. Better you take it out on me than anyone else. Mm, true. You're back out in the world. Feeling emotions, fitting in, that's progress. Fuck the world. We like progress. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. I like that. I'm guessing we're going to do something stupid. But that is where we are going to end it. Uh, I thought it would be nice to do something other than Road 96 and start a new game. Um, uh, I'm enjoying this game so far. It's interesting, <laughs> to say the least at the minute. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it too. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want. Have a wonderful day. And 